Hey guys, hello and welcome to Speedy Medical. In this video, we are going to take on the penicillins, which are the first drugs among the class of cell wall synthesis inhibitors. As I told you in my previous video that the cell wall synthesis inhibitors, they are divided into two groups. One is the beta lactam antibiotics and other are the non beta lactam antibiotics. If we talk about the beta lactam antibiotics, in the beta lactam antibiotics we have penicillins, we have cephalosporins, we have carbapenems and we have drugs like estronan. Now in this video we will take on the penicillins. So without a delay let's start the penicillins. This video will consist of three parts. In the first part we will take on the mechanism of action of penicillins like how these antibiotics they act. In the second part we will take on the resistance like how the bacteria they develop resistance against these antibiotics. In the third part we will talk about what are the subgroups of these penicillins and what are the antimicrobial activity of these subgroups. And finally, we'll talk about the side effects which are associated with the use of penicillin. So firstly, let's talk about the mechanism of action of penicillins. Primary mode by which these penicillin act is by the inhibition of cell wall synthesis. So these antibiotics, they will inhibit the synthesis of cell wall. So if we consider the cell wall of the microbes or the bacteria, the cell wall of bacteria is composed of subunits which are called as polysaccharides and pentapeptides. Now I have drawn these subunits as polysaccharides and simultaneously there are some other subunits which are called as the pentapeptides. Okay. So for example, let's consider these subunit in the blue as polysaccharides and these red subunit as pentapeptides. Now the cell wall will consist of these polysaccharides and pentapeptides and these will be cross linked with each other to form the cell wall. So these will be cross linked and they will form the cell wall. Now the reaction by which these polysaccharides and pentapeptides they are cross linked with each other are called as the transpeptidation reaction. So via the transpeptidation reaction, these polysaccharides and pentapeptides, they are linked with each other and ultimately they will form the cell wall of the bacteria. Another point to remember here is that there are some proteins which will catalyze this transpeptidation reaction and these proteins, they are located in the cytoplasm. So there are some cytoplasmic proteins which will catalyze these transpeptidation reaction and without these cytoplasmic proteins the transpeptidation reaction they don't occur and as a result the cell wall synthesis will not occur. Now let's suppose that we have introduced the penicillins into the system. So here comes the penicillin. Now what will happen is that these penicillin they will enter into the cell and they will enter into the cytoplasm. Now in the cytoplasm these will these penicillins they will bind with these cytoplasmic proteins and as a result of this the activity of the cytoplasmic proteins will be inhibited. So as a result of the inhibition of the activity of the cytoplasmic proteins there will be no transpeptidation reaction and eventually there will be no synthesis of the cell wall. So this is how the penicillins they act that is they will inhibit the transpeptidation reaction by binding with these cytoplasmic proteins and as a result of the inhibition of transpeptidation reaction the cell wall will not be synthesized. Now since these proteins they are binding with penicillin they are also called as penicillin binding protein or PBPs. So these are also called as penicillin binding proteins or PBPs. So you have to remember that these are called as PBPs. Now the rest of mechanism is same. Now as a cell wall synthesis will not happen, the cell will be osmotically fragile and water will enter into the cell which will cause the cell to swell up and eventually the lysis of the cell take place and as a result of this the microbes will die eventually. This was about the mechanism of action of penicillin. Now we'll consider how these bacteria they develop resistance against the penicillin. 
so this is a very important point to understand because you know antibiotic resistance this problem is growing day by day and lot of people are concerned about this antibiotic resistance so let's talk about how the bacteria they develop resistance against the penicillin now there are various ways via which the bacteria will develop resistance against the penicillin the first way is the production of enzyme which is called as penicillinase so penicillinase so as the name suggest the penicillinase is something which will destroy or which will cleave the penicillin now this in, this enzyme is also called as beta lactamase now as the name suggest beta lactamase that means that this enzyme will eventually break down or cleave the beta lactam ring which is present in the penicillin and as a result of this the activity of penicillin will be lost so this is the first mechanism via which the bacteria will develop resistance against the penicillin and these bacteria which produce the beta lactamase or penicillinase are called as beta lactamase producing bacteria now the second mechanism by which the bacteria develop resistance against the penicillin is via the alteration in these penicillin binding proteins so in these bacteria the pbps or penicillin binding proteins will be altered so as a result of the alteration in the penicillin binding proteins the the penicillin will not be able to bind with these proteins so therefore it will not inhibit these proteins and ultimately there will be synthesis of cell wall and the bacteria will proliferate so this is another mechanism via which the bacteria they develop resistance against the penicillin and the third mechanism via which the bacteria develop resistance against the penicillin is via the alteration in the channels that transport the penicillin from outside to the inside of the cell and these channels are also called as porins so for example if this is the cell wall in the cell wall we have channels which are called as porins and the penicillin it will come via these channels into the cytoplasm and will bind with the penicillin binding proteins now in some bacteria there has occurred an alteration in these porins and as a result of this the penicillin will not be able to come into the cell and cause its action therefore there will be resistance so this was the whole idea about the mechanism of action of penicillin and the mechanism of resistance against the penicillin in the next part of this video we'll cover what are the subgroups of penicillin and what are their antimicrobial activities and also we will look at what are the side effects which are associated with the use of penicillin now if you have watched this video till end do consider to subscribe to our youtube channel and also press the bell icon because we are uploading daily videos on pathology and pharmacology and if you are a med student you will surely benefit from these videos so thank you so much